Now let us discuss about typecasting and type conversion in C programming. Let us see what is typecasting or type conversion. Converting a variable from converting a variable from one data type to another data type. From one data type to another data type. Another data type is called as type casting or type conversion. First let us see about what is type conversion. What is type conversion? Type conversion means if the conversion, if the conversion is done implicitly by the compiler, it is called as type conversion. So here the programmers or the users, programmers or users doesn't need to perform the conversion. The corresponding type conversion is implicitly, is automatically performed by the compiler. Okay. So that's why type conversion can also be called as implicit type conversion. Why? Because the type conversion is implicitly performed by the compiler or this can also be called as automatic type conversion. Why? Because automatically the compiler will perform the uh, type conversion. Okay. Uh, let us see an example. Uh, let we have a variable in t a is equal to 10. Next, let we have a variable like this float b. Float b. Uh, let uh, we have used a statement called b is equal to a. Then what is a value? 10. Now the 10 will be stored in b. So that means uh, uh, what we are doing? We are converting that integer value 10 into the floating point value 10.0. Now what does B contain? Now B becomes B becomes 10.0. So 10.0 means it is a floating point value. So this is called as the type casting or type conversion. Converting a variable from one data type to another data type. Here we are converting that uh, variable from integer to floating data type. Integer to floating data type. So if you print B then we will get output as 10.0. So actually it is nothing but a value. 10 means a value. But we are now converting that value into the float, uh, float value with the help of the type conversion. So this conversion is automatically done by the compiler. So here we should not perform any type conversion. Okay. Here while doing the type conversion, there is no loss of any information. Information will not be lost. No loss of any information. Now let us see about type casting. Type casting. Type casting is done explicitly by the programmer. Type casting is done explicitly by the programmer. We have to do the type casting. Compiler won't do any type casting. Okay. And that's why this is also called as explicit type casting. Explicit type casting. Why? Because the type casting is performed by the compiler explicitly done by the I'm sorry this type casting is explicitly done by the programmer so that's why it is also called as explicit type casting now let us take an example so that we have uh, uh, a value called uh, uh, float so float float a is equal to let we have a value called 7.45 okay next int b is equal to float of a. Here for uh, type casting the syntax is within the parenthesis we have to write the data type and after that we need to place the expression. Okay. Here the data type is nothing but float. The data type is nothing but float and what is the name of the variable? I am sorry. Here the data type is nothing but integer. Okay. What is the value of a? 7.45. What is the integer part of 7.45? 7. seven. So that 7 will be assigned to the B. That 7 will be assigned to the B. So here the problem is while doing the type casting, there may be a possibility that information may be lost. So there may be a chance that information may be lost. Actually, what is the value of A 7.45? But that 0.45 information is lost. And only B contains only what? That's seven only. Okay. Now let us take another example. Uh, let us have. Let us assume that uh, 
we have a variable called mox uh, let uh, mox uh, value is 429 let us calculate the average so float abc is equal to float abc is equal to mox by mox by 6 or uh, float percentage is equal to percentage is equal to mox by 6 so mox means what 429 so 429 is nothing but integer value 6 is nothing but integer value integer by integer will always gives integer so if we give 429 by 6 means it will give 72 as the result so 6 7 are 42 uh, 6 1s are 6 times sorry 71 as the result and that 71 will be stored in the percentage now percentage contains 71.0 percentage contains 71.0 but actually the result of this expression is so 6 429 6 7 are 42 next 6 1s are 6 3 so 6 5s are 30 so actually the result is what 71.5 so we need this float also so for that purpose what we have to do is so before this one we have to write float so float of m by 6 if we use uh, here then what will happen is this m will be converted to the float so 429 will be changed to 429.0 so 429.0 by 6 the result of into by int is integer whereas the result of into by float or float by int or float by float will produce as float as the result so here 429.0 means float float by integer means the result is float so we will get 71.85 as the result so this is about type casting and type conversion in C programming so implicit type casting is called as type conversion